charity have an atrocious record in Ireland. They ran the Magdalene laundries, they ran the industrial schools, including St. Joseph's in Kilkenny, which was a notorious site of child sexual abuse. They also have a history of non-accountability for the things that they have done. In 2006, they told the Commission to Inquire into Child Abuse that they would not apologize for what happened at St. Joseph's because it wasn't their responsibility. They ran the school, they hired the abusers, they ignored the children's complaints and they looked the other way. And yet they saw no reason why they should apologize. And as we know, they've also failed to pay what they owe in redress for this abuse and they refuse to contribute anything to the Magdalene redress scheme. So why on earth would we give them anything? We're told that we have to give them sole ownership of the National Maternity Hospital because they own the land. They owe us three million euro. Why do they still even have any land? <laughs> Simon Harris, the Minister for Health, said on Twitter the other day that this decision was made in the interests of women. <laughs> Minister, let me tell you something. When you're talking about maternity hospitals, the women whose interests you need to worry about are not nuns. <laughs> We've been told that the hospital's clinical independence will be guaranteed, but how can it be guaranteed? The St. Vincent's Hospital Group will hold four of the nine seats on the board that can very easily become a working majority. All you need is for two people to miss a vote. And we keep hearing this thing about the minister having reserved powers. Like, this, this is supposed to reassure us that if the nuns do try to interfere in clinical matters, that the minister will step in to prevent it. Just like all the other times this government has stood up to the church, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look at the deal that they gave them for indemnity for the industrial abuse. Look at the BEC schools where the church got its demands that children would be segregated for religion classes and religion would be taught at faith formation, as faith formation. And the very fact that we're even having this discussion here today about an organization that owes the state three million euro. What more can you say about this? We cannot rely on the state, obviously, to stand up for us against the nuns. The only way that we can guarantee that there will be no religious interference in the provision of services in this country is to make sure that there is no religious involvement in the provision of services in this country. There's absolutely no place for it in a national maternity hospital. And we, the women of Ireland, and all the other potentially pregnant people of Ireland, we're saying very clearly to the minister and to the St. Vincent's group that this is our hospital, these are our bodies, this is not in our interest, and we are not going to let it go ahead. Thank you.